Our next lesson in circles is inscribed angles. We're going to take a look at how inscribed angles differ from central angles. And what you're looking at here is an inscribed angle. All right, in this case, angle ACB is inscribed. Inscribed angles have vertices that are on the circle. All right, whereas before, on the previous video, we had central angles where the angle was like that, right? The vertex was in the center. Now our vertex is all the way over here on the circle. All right, we still call this the intercepted arc. AB is still the intercepted arc. But this time, they're not the same. All right, if you think back to the rule for central angles, these were the same, but now they're not. And the rule is that the angle is half as big as the arc. The inscribed angle is half as big as the arc it opens up to. All right, so if we think about this in some examples and stuff, we can just throw some quick numbers in here. Let's say this is 30, then this would be 60. All right, we can go the other way too. This is 90, this is 45. So the angle, the inscribed angle is half as big as the arc. A couple examples, number one. In example number one, we are looking for the inscribed angle. We're given the arc it opens up to. This is the inscribed, oops, the intercepted arc, 194. So what we need to do is simply take our little formula here. The angle is equal to half of the arc. So call x the angle, 1 half of 194. Half of 194 is 97, I believe. 97 times 2 is 194. So there you go. Number 2. Sometimes you'll be given the angle and asked to find the arc. So we're looking for this arc right here. Again, the angle, the inscribed angle, is half as big as the arc. If the arc is missing, we'll call that x. The angle is 40. So to get rid of the one half, you multiply both by two. And there we go. So the arc is 80 degrees. Remember, the arc is always bigger than the angle. Uh, let's go to number three. We'll call this number three. Let's get that out of there. On number three, we've got, let's see, what do we have here? We have an angle given, an angle of 50 degrees given. So we know the angle is equal to half as big as the arc. So 50 is equal to half of the arc. Make sure the arc goes in parentheses, though. This time the arc has an algebraic expression attached to it. All right, a couple different ways to solve this. You can take the 1 half and distribute it into the binomial. Uh, that's going to give us some decimals. So what I'm going to do very quickly is just like I did in the previous example, I'm going to get rid of this one half first. To get rid of a one half, I multiply everything by two. That leaves me with 100 is equal to 9x minus 8. The one half and the two cancel out, leaving you with just this. Two times 50 is 100. Add 8. So 108 is equal to 9x. So let's see, that's uh, 12. x is 12. All right, and you can check that really quickly. 9 times 12 is 108. 108 minus 8 is 100. 100 is twice as big as the angle. The angle is half as big as 100. All right, this one is number 4. We'll call this number 4. <clears throat> In number 4, a little bit more complicated here, but uh, not too bad. What we're going to do first is uh, realize we're looking for x right in here, so that that is an intercepted, excuse me, that's an inscribed angle that's opening up to this green arc. So what I'm going to do first is figure out what on earth that green arc is. What's the measure of that arc? And to do that, we're going to use the old trick that we know that there are 360 degrees all the way around. And what we're given here, and I'll put these in Let's see, I'll do this one in pink, that's 62, and I'll do this one in blue, that is 1, 
40. So what we want to do is add those two together. 140 plus 62 is 202. And we're going to take that away from the whole circle. So when we do that, uh, 202, if we take that away from the whole circle, uh, will give us, let's see, 158. All right, so the green arc, now we can erase the question mark. We just calculated it to be 1, 158. All right, and now we're going to go back to our inscribed angle is 1 half of the arc formula. So the angle is 11x plus 2 times 1 half of the arc. Half of 158 is 79. 11x plus 2 minus 2 minus 2. 11x equals 77. x is 7. We'll divide that by 11 right here to get x is 7. And again, check that. 11 times 7 is 77 plus 2 is 79. 79 degrees is half of 158. That checks out really well. Alright, so that's some uh, quick examples there on inscribed angles. Uh, next video is going to be a tangent video talking about some theorems that surround tangents.